Now, circumstances could be different for everyone, but can you give the audience five tips for anyone visiting Orlando? Hmm. Five tips. Um, visiting Orlando, I would definitely say, like, you know, if you plan on staying tourist, then, um, you know, stick to that I drive and you'll be OK. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're all good. Um, second. Um, downtown after 2 a.m. is a death sentence, basically. <laughs> At this point, that is definitely a tip right there, because like. Yeah, the downtown life is a little bit too crazy sometimes um, in Orlando. Um, that's a tip. Um, third, I would definitely say like, uh, I don't know, go. It's more like, that's what I'm saying. It's more of like a tourist-ish state. Um, I definitely, definitely try out the food. Okay, definitely try out the food. Um, definitely try out like, you know, um, different uh, Spanish spots. If you if you're if you're in Orlando, try to get to the Spanish spots or the Jamaican spots because that's the best food. Um, fourth is if um, if you plan on shopping in in um, Orlando, I suggest m my personal opinion is don't go to the Florida Mall. Um, and then fifth. Um, Man, if you, I don't know, want to have a good time at a water park, go to Universal. Boom. It's more touristy, so. Rewinding back on some of these tips, why not the Florida Mall? Uh, <laughs> that should be active sometimes. I, I, I watched the active robbery <laughs> in, in, in Florida Mall. I was with uh, my boys that I, that I pointed out or, earlier or said earlier or whatever. I was with them. I remember he was... Um, it was, uh, I don't know what year it was. I want to say it was very recent, though. Um, we went to Florida Mall. We were going up shopping, get, you know, some sneakers, all that shit and stuff like that. Um, and I saw, like, a guy coming out of some, I want to say it was like the, it was a jewelry store. And he was coming out of the jewelry store, but he had two bags in his hand, like two full, full um, bags of um you know whatever he bought or whatever i literally watched somebody just walk up walk not run walk behind him and then sprint grab the bags and run out like everything then i watched the man chase him all the way down to his car broke the window and then got his bags back like it was crazy and then at, then five minutes after that a fight happens right in front of the Foot Locker, like you know, bloody fight too. And, and we just got up out of there. So I was like, nah, this is not cool. And I've seen, you know, multiple inst uh, instances and stuff like that when I was, um, oh my gosh. Wow. I, well, I, at a, there was a time that I worked at Foot Locker and, um, my, uh, assistant manager or my manager sent me to Florida mall to train, to become an assistant manager. And when I was there, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everywhere we were looking, you know, the main thing uh, of that store in Florida Mall was you got to watch for shoplifters because they they they'll come in, steal the whole rack and just look you dead in the face and know you can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? So it was just very like a lot of people stealing. So that's why I was like, just stay away from the Florida Mall. I know it seems so great. It might be great. You might be OK. But I'm just saying from my experience, I wouldn't go to Florida Mall.